Well, the trees died out, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Patreon. I'm the man today, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll be playing a game. I know, a surprise, isn't it? It's always a surprise when we play a game on this channel. But this one is, well, I would say a little bit more special. As you all know, I've played a bunch of games on the channel that, well, bring me, brought me the memory of an older game that I used to play when I was a little brat, a little, a little brat here, you could say. I was like, you know, special with those things. And there was a game called Banish It. It was a wonderful game. It was a great game. I love it to bits. I've played through it as much as I could. I've did a lot of the achievements and then, well, I kinda ran out of ideas what to do. We found a few other games that reminded me of Banish It here and there. But this one, this one I think could be called Banish It 2. I hope I can one day call it Banish It 2. Because for now, we're gonna play ourselves the demo version, the alpha build. And, well, our options over here are quite limited. But hey, I can choose myself a banner, why not? I, d I don't know what is a dragon over there. Let's call. Oh, okay. This one. This one's now. Jamestown. Sure. Name it Jamestown. Like the most common way to call a town in a fantasy world. And give them like a badass, badass banner. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like exactly like me. Mediterranean, peaceful, looking island with a fetter of souls, scared with berries and caves. And coves. It's surely a place your people will be proud to call home. And apparently that's the only option because the rest of those are blocked. Not available in the demo. Well, fuck. This one's quite nice. This one is even nice here. Very nice. Very nice. Nice. All of those are islands though. Right. Okay, so we only can play on this one. Sure. Why not? So ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in into Patreon and, well, try to survive. Well, at least the uh, pause button is working. Welcome to Patreon. This short tutorial will guide you through the basic concept of building your new city, setting up efficient production chains and governing your people. Let's get started. Yeah, sure. Uh, so what we got over here? We got some coins. Okay, the moment is like quite simple, like typical, nothing new over here. Stone, iron, coal, firewood, okay. Lumber and some food over here. Okay, I can work with this. Apparently this is my population. I got five families. Three children, six young and ten adults. Influence points are used for... Uh, okay, politics panel. In my town center. Happiness, 82. An overall level of happiness as a combination of various social is uh, issues shoveling your citizens. Low happiness will make your citizens leave the town. Don't forget that your citizens look fondly on you making their neighborhood prettier. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing this is a tip. Can I move this thing? I can. Awesome. So put you on the side for now. Townhouse. Okay, and apparently we got some decrease over here. Which I need to research. Alright, whatever game. Sure, sure, why not? Okay, this this looks nice. Water! Oh! River! Well, this is a very nice river. Very, very nice indeed. Apparently we got the open seas over here. And, well, a big, big forest in front of us. Alright, I can work with this thing. Uh, so I'm guessing the tutorial are like super basics. We're gonna skip it for now. Let's see what we got. So we got gathering resources over here. Gather materials, stone, trees, demolish buildings. Then we got some road building over here. Large stone bridge, stone bridge, stone road. Large wooden bridge. And stuff like that. Beautification. Oh yeah, now we are talking, boys. Let's see. Small pond. Large pond. Decoration tree. Small plaza. Medium plaza. Large plaza. Gazebo. Uh, fountains. Statues. There's a horse over there. And some other fountains over here, okay? The production buildings. Apiary. Warehouse. Carpenter's hut. Produces uh, furniture. Candle shop. Brickworks, windmill, bakery, pottery shop. Yeah, there's like a lot of it over here. Like the typical ones you may find in a typical Banished game. Okay, I can work with this. Farms. Okay, limited. And then we got the town's buildings. Okay. Merchant guilds. Labor's guilds. Peasant guilds. Cathedral, healer's house. Church, harbor, inn. 
Well, stone well, the watchtower. Ensure safety. A market, a school, and a guardhouse. Okay, so I got some experience when it comes to playing games like this, you know. I, I think I can manage without the tutorial this for now. So first things first, the heck is this? Road signs. Help your citizens find their way quicker. They move 5% faster while near the road sign. Hey, That's a very cool idea. I like it. I like it very much. So I'm guessing this is some type of... Yeah, th that's metal. Those are rocks. More metal over here. Okay. So. Uh, we have to probably worry about some food at the very beginning. Let's see. Town buildings. Uh, the dogs. Where is like the gatherer and stuff like that? Production buildings? There you go. Uh, gathers wild fruits, mushrooms, and other fruits. Uh, well, foresters, well forested areas are more abundant in those resources. Okay. So, work efficiency. Hey, that's nice. So, there's like a huge work efficiency somewhere over here, which could be very, very helpful to, well, go around with this thing. But then again, that's a bit too close to the to the mountains over here, which I'm not a big fan of that. But I think I can slap this bad boy over here. The heck has those? Mushrooms! Probably. No, those are flowers, I know. Shut up. Uh, right, we got some opening over here, so I could try to go with those things over there. Uh, hunting Lodge. Produces vention and letter. We will force it areas uh, and will animal layers boost efficiency. Okay, 70, 90%. Okay, I have to build this thing somewhere over here. They only got the forester hot. Plants and cut down trees to build lumber. Efficiency dependence on two factors. Okay, also works over here. Salt meal produces firewood, keep it away. Herbalist hot. Gathers herbs used by citizens to stay or get healthy. More quality herbs can be found in well forested areas. Yeah, so basically if you play the uh, classical banished game, you build those things at the beginning along with some houses. And basically this is your... Uh, way of surviving for the for the first like months or days depending how you can look at that in the game, right? Uh, so you get the construction resource, you get some helps and you get basically food which is very very important and later on you basically develop from that thing like you build yourself like this resource center uh, Depot provides some storage space for resources enables carriers to do their job efficiently the Deposits serve as the sources drop off and pick up points for your workers. Okay, so those things cost a few coins. So I have to keep that thing in mind. I do have some money, so I should be fine, more or less over here. And then we got some housing. So we got a tent. Provides the weakest housing for the settlers. Citizens who live in some form of housing pay taxes, which is the main source of coins income. Then you have the house, which requires coins as well. And then you got shelter. A fine solution when your town gets too crowded too fast, but it should... Uh, should only be temporary. Citizens living in shelters suffer a penalty happiness and don't expect any children to be born here. Yeah, you don't want your neighbor to see how, how you're fucking his wife, right? But okay, let's just roll with this thing. So, the gatherer's hut will go here. Okay, I have more or less an idea what this thing is standing. Hunting lodge. Uh, uh, is it bigger or smaller than the... It's a little bit smaller, okay. If I'm gonna rotate you like this, okay, that's not gonna help. Forester hot. Are you okay? You're big. You are really big. You're a big boy, aren't ya? Uh, okay, what does we have over here? Catalyst hot. Wait, unless I can build you like this. Can I? No, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna line ev perfectly. It's so annoying. It's so annoying indeed, man. Herb oh my. Can you make the herbalist hot even fucking bigger? I mean, honestly. Game. What the shit, man? What what the actual shit? Okay, make you here. Uh, sub meal, forester hut. The herbalist hut is like the biggest shit I have ever seen in my entire life. It's huge! That's what she said. I know. Uh, okay, efficiency, we're gonna go over here. And... I think we're missing the Hunter's Lodge. Yeah. So the Hunter's Lodge can go, I guess, somewhere over here on the side. Probably I'm building this thing in a very terrible way, but okay, whatever. Okay, now we're gonna need some rows over here. If only I'll be able to see something here. I don't see a jack shit. 
Yeah, left. You don't say. I'm trying to... Okay, found the middle one. Found the middle one. Make the road. All the way across to the town hall. I guess. Oh, you build the road automatically. How nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that's gonna be my... Uh, gutter center. Now, I need to find... Okay, so it ends somewhere over here, like on this opening. This is where this thing ends. We still have some coins around here, I think. I don't think I've used those coins when I was planting out the buildings. I think, actually, I think I've used those coins when I was planting out the buildings around here. So, let's see. Uh, can I get the house over here, but I need to find the actual door. Is that the door? Yeah, so that's the door over here. Oh, you wrote it on the on that side. Okay, that's pretty fucking annoying. Okay, found the road. I mean, found the found the door. And this thing has to go somewhere over here. They want to make double road? Probably no. Make a house over here. Oh, a different model. How nice. Uh, what's the door? Okay, that's the door. So it rotates. Wait, what? How many doors you have? Two. We have two different doors. Which one are the main one? Okay, whatever. So it rotates like that. Okay, so I hope this is the main door entrance thing. Yeah! Yeah, I'm a master builder. I build shit and I make my people happy. They began the construction, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> oh, okay. I like how this thing is going. Yeah, chop down the trees, boys, like badasses. Very good. Ah, the first building is getting built. And... Oh my god, you're so pretty. Holy shit. This is... This is so nice. Okay. Don't forget to make a little road over here. Okay, now I'm gonna make you a road sign. There. So you're gonna move a little bit faster, hopefully. Okay, build the remaining buildings, boys. Thank god that you actually made some clearing around here, so I can... You know, make uh, roads later on. Now, how's the house construction? Ah! The first house is already built, boss! Wonderful! Now, build the remaining ones, please! Yeah, of course, the woman is doing the heavy lifting, you know? She's doing the building. Equality in the society is a normal thing. It's a normal sight. I think I've screwed up this building, though. What you have over here? Gatherer's shelter. Okay. Good thing it's not a gutter's brothel. Uh, I need a road over here. Hell yeah! A magnificent empire is rising over here. Hunting lodge. I don't think you guys destroyed the trees around here. But that's fine. Okay, the houses are ready. Very nice. Uh, the game wants me to build five houses. Okay, I can build one more. Without much of a problem. Uh... I just don't know where I'm gonna slap you. You know what, let's slap you over here. I just have to rotate you two times. And let's see. One, two, three. Like this. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna add a bit of a space between buildings. So the neighbors is not gonna be like, Oh my god, Jerry! I can see you naked, having fun with your wife! Can you have some dignity, man? It's like... Dude, I'm in my own fucking house. It's not my bloody fault that, you, that our window is window to window. It is your fault! Shut up! The king sends his regards. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for us for the first city. He is clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Please notify the king that we accept the gift. Oh no. Oh no! I don't like this thing already. He's giving me call now. And he's gonna request like, you know, armored... Uh, soldiers in a matter of days. Okay, Forester Hut. Ah, jobs. Okay. So, I need to have two gatherers, one Forester, one Hunter, one Herbalist, and a gatherer would be nice to have. Yay! It works according to plan. Oh, and also don't forget about the depot. Yeah, I'm gonna build a depot somewhere over here. Beautiful. Now we got those things out of the picture, right? The basic uh, resources income. So what I'm gonna need now is some firewood. The game is already pointing this thing out that I need to have myself a sawmill. Which, whoa. Okay, the buildings in this game are quite huge, I have to admit. But they look pretty fucking awesome. They look really awesome. 
Okay, I want to build this thing somewhat over here, I guess. Let's see. Uh, okay, the door is over there. Right, and the road goes somewhere over here. So I'm gonna deploy you here. There you go. And don't forget the road. As soon as I'm gonna actually find the bloody ass green area space. Not here. Ah! Found it! Make the road. Beautiful kingdom sire! I know. And the road sign. Yay! Works according to plan. I'd shut it I'd chop it up so trees so you guys can actually see something. Did I screw up this house? I hope I did not. Like where's the entrance to this house? Here or here? No damn idea. Okay. You guys are having fun. oh. Okay, I did screw up this building here, I believe, the forester. Yeah, I did screw it up. Well, I just I hope you can still work from inside. I think you can. I I hope you can. I I honestly hope that that's a possibility for you. Okay, lumber. Herbs. Oh fuck, this thing costs upkeep. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's honestly not good, man. That one building. That one building costs me upkeep. Terrible gameplay. The heck is this thing? Berries and mushrooms aren't enough to keep your citizens fed. Happy and healthy. They need more variety. Build a hunting lodge and assign a worker to the hunting profession. Bear in mind that hunters use lumber and iron to create traps and arrows. They can't hunt properly without those. You can get uh, gather iron, mulchak lumber directly in the ward. Oh shit. Upkeep. Ah, so that's why you need the fucking upkeep for. Okay, well, there's some iron over here so we can gather that thing for now. Gather metal. Yeah! Got a stone. I'm looking for some stone. Oh no, it's raining! Terrible gameplay. Okay, I'm a worker over here. And now he's gonna be making us sticks, which are necessary for us to survive winter. The king sends his regards. Sire, the king has sent a ship. Oh, iron. Okay, I'm wondering when this thing is gonna bat backfire at me. Isolation. Oh! Hey, that's pretty ne nice. That's that's pretty neat. Okay. Uh, re oh, research. Oh, really? Oh. Quarry allows the construction of quarries used for extracting stone. Fisherman hut allows the construction of fisherman hut, the best source of fresh fish and crab. Okay. Sure. Let's let's work on that thing. Okay. Tracking prey coins needed. Ice fishing. Small parks, decorations, quarries. Aha! Oh, my food is getting super low. I don't like it. So the current situation, my lovely little village. Uh, money is increasing. Lumber, let's assume so. Firewood is okay. How I can turn off... Uh, status, board jobs. Hold on a second. Overview. Decrease. Construction goods. I don't want my guys to use coal, at least for now. Is that a possibility over here? Additional panels, stock. Res residence not available in the demo. Stock. What the fuck is. Oh, this stock. Can I. Can I tell you guys not to use coal? View. View. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! It feels so fucking empty! <laughs> my god, it's terrifying! Minimap. That's nice. Uh, job boards. Okay, that's not a thing. Game status. That's not a thing. Apparently, I cannot turn off the possibility for my guys to use coal in the in their houses to heat them up, which is pretty fucking annoying. Considering that we're gonna need fucking coal for I don't know like tour manufacturing. But okay, game. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Ah, fisherman's hut. Lovely. I can build you whatever I want. Oh, please tell me I can. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be a little bit risky. Wait, can I... Grid? Uh... I don't know where's the grid for fishes, so let's assume that there are actually fishes over here. Upkeep coins and lumber. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the coin upkeep. 
That's definitely not my style, man. I definitely, definitely got problems with with food. Oh my god, monthly produced four, monthly use 110. We are so fucking dead right now. Okay, I need the fisherman hat. I need that fucking hat now. Okay, I bet it works over here. Build it, boys. Build it. We need to have sustenance. We need to have sustenance, boys. Unless you want to fucking die. Then by all means, go ahead and die. The situation with the food is, at the moment, extremely terrifying. And I don't really know what to do to increase this the amount of food I'm producing. Because I cannot get farms, since I don't have the proper research. The only way for me to get food is through the gatherer's hut, the hunting lodge. And that's actually it. There is no other way to get food right now. For me. Which is pretty terrifying. No food in the houses. There we go. There we go, boys. It's time to start to panic. This is the appropriate moment to start to panic. If you want to start to panic, do it now. I'm actually thinking about increasing the production of uh, the Gatlas sh uh, shelter with this thing. And with this thing later on. Okay, let's get for now this thing. Okay, so that should increase the efficiency by 50%. Where's my 50 fucking percent, boy? No firewood in stock. Oh, come on! Really? Why? Upkeep. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I would say it's, uh, it's a tremendous big-ass problem. You guys are working? Worker slots, tools, costs, production plus 50%. Okay, I'm gonna do some upgrades over here because that they should help me gather more wood. I'm actually thinking about getting this thing as well. No! Oh, the king is sending coal! Thank you, your highness! Thank you! You are a miracle, your highness! Thank you! Thank you! Don't dethrone him yet, boys! Hide the pitchforks! It's not the moment! In due time, in due time. But for now, though, those upgrades. They're gonna help. Let's get this. Let's get the fertilizers. There you go. Okay. I don't see the efficiency rising over here. Oh, it's Atom. It's Atom already? Oh crap. Well, the trees died out, boys. At least now we can see the actual animals. I wonder what the heck are those things? Can I like mine those things? What what are you? Let's see, get the resources. No. Get the stone. Oh. No. Get the metal? The heck is this thing? Gather all resources. Doesn't work apparently. I don't know what that thing is, and it looks like I won't find out anyway. And I'm guess yeah, there's 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 gonna be probably iron over there. Stone, more balls. Hmm. Are you guys actually getting some fish? Because I'm not saying, but that's quite essential if you want to survive right now. This is nice, look at this thing. This is very nice. I, I really like the visuals the of the buildings over here, you know? <laughs> yeah, sure, there's a boar working next to my people. Completely ignoring them. It's like, yeah, you know, live and let live. What's, the, what, what's that guy doing? Oh god, it's a bow! Oh god, oh no! And on the next season, those fuckers woke up and apparently they all fucking died. Yay! But still, I am wondering... Why the fuck there are dolphins over there? I don't know. I do wonder, will the fisher hat work like intended? Is he actually gonna find some fish over here? I I honestly don't know. Saving, okay. You you are you producing anything? Let's see. Where is food? Okay, there's a lot, a lot of food over here. There you go, fish. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what? It's like, what, how many I've produced? I am producing some fish, apparently. Oh, look, it's November. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, it's time to die. Oh, we are so fucking dead. Well, good news. The fisherman is actually working. Don't ask me how he's he's working somehow, okay? So let's just stick to that thing. 
I'm gathering firewood, which is fine. Uh, hmm, with this garbage, upkeep, minus 50%. Yeah. That could be nice. Worker slots. That also could be nice. Mechanization, plus production. That cost me a lot of money, by the way. I actually wonder will I survive the winter. It's still Atom. The game considers this thing still as Atom. It's still Atom. It's it's still Atom. I'm surprised that those guys can still collect food. That's that's pretty impressive. So chestnuts? Oh no, chestnuts! <laughs> it's called Brazil nuts. And then the root, you're collecting roots. Okay, I, I honestly have never tasted roots. I have no idea how that thing tastes and I have no damn idea how people could actually eat that thing in medieval times. No damn clue. Okay, but I see a brave soul walking over here to the sub meal and collecting necessary resources. Okay. I mean, so far we're surviving, right? So that's pretty okay. Uh, how many people I have? I got three people that are currently doing, well, not too much. So I'm kind of thinking about building another, like, center for my guys to get some more resources. Hmm, let's see. Can I actually do something over here? We'll add the grids. Okay, that's the ore grid. So there is actually a good idea to place mines over here. So probably making a, uh, like, gather a center over there is not gonna be the brightest of my ideas. So maybe we can actually continue the road and make them another one over here. I think. I'm not sure. I'm guessing right now, so... And also, apparently we got constantly problems with firewood. Okay, isolation, I think. At this point, it's not such a bad idea. That's gonna, in the end, bring me a lot of savings. I should have probably got this thing earlier, but, well... It's better later than never, right? A sunken ship! Oh god. A ship has sunk off the coast of your fair city. We should send a search party to see what they can find. Organize a search party. Focus on helping any survivors. Adults free, children free. Peasants and laborers. Immigration minus 10 plus minus 10. Merchants and gentry. Immigration plus 15. Send a party and search for any goods floating around. The town needs anything we can uh, receive. Cider. Okay, let's take, I guess, the adults. That should help a little bit. House shortage. What the fuck you mean house shortage? There's an empty house over here. You can move in, you dipshits. So, everybody's freezing around here. Good, good. That's called that's called progress. Uh, I've added the construction of another house over here. And also, I've improved all of the buildings in my gathering center, right? So, we got a... I took the expansion, so I took I put another forester. Uh, I got upgrade for the gatherer's shelter, so we got another gatherer over here. And I'm actually thinking about getting this thing, but then again, yeah, they require um, iron, and just in case, I don't want to waste any resources over there. But I think I could later on try to upgrade this thing. Hmm. Coins 60 per year. Okay, maybe hold up to that thing. Like, it's chill. Chill a little bit, okay? Winter is devastating, but so far so good. We are surviving. We got firewood. Oh, also I improved this thing, so we got more workers over here. No food in warehouses. Yeah, I've noticed. But we are surviving. Hardly, but I am surviving. The question is now, what to do? I got four remaining people that are not doing anything, and I'm kind of considering adding, as I said, another gathering halt. If only I would have enough resources. Somewhere over here. But then again, the efficiency is gonna drop like crazy. Which is not good. I should have built like one gathering center over here and then another one over here. I think that actually would be a better idea than build one huge one in the middle and, you know, call it a day. Mistakes have been made, but that's how normally things in the games like this go. So take it easy, boys. March. It's still fucking winter. I'm thinking about building temporary. I got this, got this shelter over there, but the thing is, can I make a bridge? Resources needed. Tools. Okay, we got the tools. We got coins. We got lumber. Okay, so that should not be that big of a problem. And I think I'm gonna continue just the path. Not this. I'm just gonna continue the path over here. 
If only I'll find the right angle. I think I found the wrong angle. There we go. Make the road over here. Yay! We got roads, boys! Okay, make a small bridge. Not enough coins. Oh, come on! 500 coins? For a simple bridge? Like that? Oh, that's terrifying. The decision has been made by the Grand Elder of the Society to build another gathering center over here. Hopefully that was not a bad idea. I don't know. We're gonna find out very soon, I guess. So, uh, I'm building the gathering hut, the forester hut, and the hunting lodge over here. I don't, I don't think I need another uh, herbalist hut just for now. So we will see how that is gonna go. I could actually maybe try to sell some of those, you know, to get some more food out of it. We will see. We will see. For now, okay, food is rising, which is very good. I think I'm actually going slowly into the green. I'm getting shitloads of firewood, which is essential for survival. We don't have any coal. But then again, those people are uh, lacking food, which is pretty dangerous. Yo, guys, can you can you get some food? I mean, I'm so happy that you're not lying dead on the ground, as you do in Banish it, but, you know... If you really want, you can get some food. I mean, there's still so... Fuck. Pig and help. My niche, the local, have noticed our food shortage and are, thankfully, offering help. They're offering to bring us food and they aren't asking for anything in return. The Kligri have reacted already, however. They don't like the idea of Polgan animals helping us. What should we do? We could really use the food. Pogan or not, we want to refuse helping hand. Give them all the hospitality we can offer. Okay. And I gotta get some... We cannot afford to have the Kligri on our back. Not this time. Send the locals away. Uh, fuck you guys, I'm getting some food. There you go! Back in the green! <laughs> Lovely! So let's see the current situation over here. We got a small community over here, living next to the uh, townhouse, I guess. Uh, we got our first gathering center over here, and then we got another small gathering center over here, and I'm starting to build another smaller village on this side of the forest. So far, so good. I'm not getting attacked, I cannot get farms, and I built the majority of the buildings. I think I have actually built all of the buildings currently available to me. Oh wait, I haven't built the docks, and it was trading with the mainland, but the upkeep is fucking huge. And then I got the watchtower. It shows safety within the radius. Well, I can't say the radius is super fucking huge, just saying. But okay, right, we got... I should not have any more problems with food though, which is essential. And expansion, stone. Okay, stone is easy to get. Fertilizers. Let's see, gatherers. Large baskets, yeah, let's get this thing. Let's, let's give those guys some improvements. Production during winter plus 25%, coins and iron. Okay. Letter production plus 20%. What I can use letter for? Wait, hold on a second. There's probably a production building for that thing, right? Cloth shop. Produces cloth. Luxury. Peasants luxury. Clay pit. Pottery workshop. Worry. So this is for stone gathering. Apiary. Warehouse. Carpenter's hut. Candle workshop. Brickworks. Windmill. Yeah, but where do you use letter? Huh? What was the letter for? Church, healer's house, cathedral, peasant's guild house, a place for the peasants to gather and discuss their issues. A little bit of coins is gained from each member. That's nice. Uh, but still, I don't know where you use letter. What is letter for? Oh, this thing over here. Oh, okay. So, it produces clothing from the clothers shop, which I have to research first. Okay, but the upkeep of tools is, is enormous. So, I'm guessing that the first thing I should try to research right now would be... Oh, another window is coming, that's great. I should probably focus on a school. Okay, this thing requires bricks. Uh, so, an upkeep is candles. Oh, fuck. Okay, so maybe some tools at the very beginning. Can I get some tools, please? Toolsmith. Upkeep. Coal and iron. 
coal mine and iron mine have a huge coin upkeep. Well, shit. I'm gonna need a lot more peasants if I want to build any of those. And just before we're gonna finish, ladies and gentlemen, I've uh, researched the quarry. Uh, and apparently the efficiency of, of ore applies also to stone production. I, I, I don't understand that thing, but... Okay, and I honestly hope that this is unlimited amounts of resources, right? So if I'm gonna make a road here... Let's see, if I'm gonna make a road here... Okay, that, that should fit. That's gonna go over here to this area over here. Then I could potentially make a quarry somewhere over here. Right? If I'm gonna rotate this... Oh my god, this is this is a nice building. Holy shit. Where is the entrance, though? Oh, okay. Maybe like this, apparently. So, if I'm gonna build you... Let's slap you here. Like this. There you go. And I'm gonna make you like a nice cozy road next to, okay, not like this, not like this, like this. Nice cozy road. There you go. Beautiful. Alright. So I got now access to stone. My stone supply should go through the rooftop, which is awesome. The only problem though is that well, how to put it? I am gonna have very soon problems, I think, with cash. So, to solve that thing, we need to get more people. To get more people, I need more food. To get more food, I need more research. To get more research, I guess it, I need to have tools. Yeah, so basically, once you start to build shit around here, <laughs> you fucked. And you have to just keep on building. Yeah, that's apparently how the game is gonna work. Okay, all oh, this some, I think, wait, this is iron? Metal? Something over here, so that's great. We can work with that thing. So I went to the research really quickly and I got the decorative hedge so we could try to decorate the neighborhood a little bit more But the mines are over here Like the mines at the very beginning of the game, right? And, side note If I'm gonna build a herbalist near a forester hut A hunting lodge near a forester hut Then they're gonna get bonus to production Ah, clever, very clever, very nice developers uh, Okay, clover workshop is over here Gathering hall, so the upgrade for my town hall or whatever that thing is called is over here and it's automatic That's why I could not find the upgrade button Okay, and then we got stone roads quarry pool Wait, what? Increases the maximum amount of stone that can be extracted from quarries. I have a bad feeling about this I just hope that the resources from those things are unlimited. I honestly hope that's the case. So the mines will be the focus of the next episode, right? Uh, I will have to probably eventually get over here and make myself a mining colony on this side of the island. But that's gonna be a thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna leave it for the future episodes. If you want to try the game yourself, is this link in the description below, as always. That's gonna lead you to the Steam page where you can try the demo. I hope that you should still be able to play this thing uh, before the demo will become unavailable for, for people to test out. And, well, we will see what the future will bring for a little cozy colony. But that's gonna be the thing, as I said, for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe a lot. I'll see you in the next video.